Okay, YouTube, Texas Prepper here. Um, just a quick video about long term food storage. Something I've done is uh, taken some oats. These are just rolled oats. Uh, I put an oxygen absorber in the jar. But then I've got uh, the food saver, and it's the older model. It's not a, by any means a new one. I can, it comes with the uh, canister sealing attachment. Put that down on there. The canister. And it uh, vacuum seals it. Okay. Listen to the seal break. Take the lid off. Seal. Now, probably wouldn't have to put the oxygen absorber in there. Uh, I did. It's a 100 cc. Uh, but uh, I would imagine vacuum sealing is just is good enough. I've got uh, two of these lids. One of them is for a wide mouth jar. The other obviously is for a regular mouth jar. Also, the extra oxygen absorbers that I had left over when I open the package. You have to seal them up real quickly uh, or they will lose their potency and I seal them in a wide mouth jar here. Uh, these came 200 to a pack, 100 cc, 200 to a pack. Uh, the pink dot you're looking at there is uh, lets you know that they are still good. If the dot turns blue uh, then all the, uh, well, they've lost their stuff. Whatever it is they do. I don't understand how they work, but they've lost their, they've lost their ability to absorb any oxygen. So when you do uh, reseal yours, uh, make sure you can, uh, you put the, the dot on the outside of the, uh, uh, or visible from the outside so you can uh, check it and make sure they're still good. Anyway, uh, you can do rolled oats like this. You can do uh, dried beans, uh, pentos, peas, uh, black-eyed peas, things like that. Rice would be good to do like this. I would imagine kept in a cool, dry place. These will last at least 10 years. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't. So uh, a good uh, resource to look at on the internet is dehydrate to store dot com. Dehydrate to store. It's dehydrate, the number two, store dot com. It's a lady that has uh, some real good videos on this. She is uh, an expert on it, been doing it for years, and knows what she's talking about much more than I do. But this will give you an idea of uh, storing for long term, but not, you know, not necessarily getting the big buckets and, and whatever. If you want to do the five gallon buckets, then there's uh, ways to do that. Oxygen absorbers, diatomaceous earth, um, things of that on that line. If you want to do something that's going to sprout, let's say you're going to put up some uh, some seeds, uh, whether it be garden seeds or whether it's some sprouting seeds, do not vacuum seal them. Do not put an oxygen absorber in them. Uh, it's been my experience that wheat that has been um, used, uh, that you've used an oxygen absorber on or dry ice or whatever it takes out the oxygen, uh, probably nitrogen pack also would do it, but whatever takes out the oxygen also kills its ability to sprout. So don't vacuum seal, don't put oxygen absorbers or dry ice in something that you're going to want to sprout later on, like uh, vegetable seeds or a sprouting seed, mung beans or, or uh, uh, broccoli or whatever whatever it is you sprout, uh, you, you sprout things. So anyway, just uh, uh, a quick video on this and uh, you can buy rolled oats at uh, I bought these at an organic store they were more expensive but I assume you can buy them uh, just out of the package Quaker Oats or something like that if they're quick oats you might want to write on there quick oats and, and write the because uh, it's a different cooking procedure on something like quick oats than it is these oats uh, you can go to the feed store. They sell rolled oats. I don't 
think there's any difference. Someone can tell me uh, that I'm very wrong about that, but I don't think there's any difference between these rolled oats that I paid, uh, I don't know, a lot more than you'd pay at a food store, at a feed store. I don't think there's any difference. So uh, that would be a, a place to go if you don't need, uh, if you don't, if you're not concerned about organic and such. Anyway, uh, oxygen absorbers or vacuum sealer. You can use the bags. One reason I'm going with the jars right now, those bags are expensive. And though you can cut them down and use them again, smaller and smaller and smaller each time, uh, these jars, jars are cheap. Uh, Eight dollars for a dozen at Walmart or somewhere, uh, dollar stores. And um, the lids, uh, we, I've seen lids around here, the, the regular lids for a dollar a dozen. And you can just go in there and scoop up a whole case of them for a dollar a dozen, not bad. Anyway, um, do some long-term food storage, uh, whether you do it this way or whatever way. I'm just telling you uh, uh, one of the ways to do it. You can do buckets, you can do whatever. But do you some long-term food storage. You're going to need it later. Okay? Texas Prepper. Gone.